The year was 1957, and the photograph was taken at Butlin's Holiday Camp, and this was one of their first hotels in Saltine, and it was a very exciting event because it was a, a new innovation to have a nice holiday within um, the price range of your average person. We friends. were outside the front entrance with one of the red coats. Mm. Who, who's your friend? My friend is Anita. Anita? Yes. Right, was she like a childhood friend? Or? Uh, yes, no. we've um, been friends since we were at school oh. and our families were friends and we thought we'd be very adventurous and at 18 um, it was a big thing to go on a holiday on your own without your parents. Uh, unlike it is today and we were pretty naive and we were completely overwhelmed by the attention of the redcoats who were swarming everywhere and uh, making sure we all had a really good time but little did we know having thought we were entirely on our own that um, a coach arrived with a whole coach party of people visiting for the day and who should get off the coach with my mum and dad because they were so concerned that these young girls were away and might get up to some very naughty things. <laughs> but they had, they'd only come for the day just to check us out. <laughs> uh, we got over that and we reassured them that we'd be quite safe for the rest of the week and we weren't going to elope with the first red coat that asked us. It all seemed very bright and new and we hadn't stayed in a hotel before because we'd always had holidays in boarding houses or self-catering or caravans and this was really very different and they had a huge ballroom and the ballroom had sparkling lights as it was in those days with a big ball in the centre that twisted round and shone lights everywhere and um, there was a big uh, a live band, it wasn't just recorded music and so there were two bands and one was a, like a, a modern rock band and they played the Beatles music because that was just becoming popular and Love Me Do was the, I, no I don't think that came out until 62 uh, but there were other things that sort of rock, rock and roll was the in thing because both of us had gone through rock and roll classes that, that they go to salsa classes now, but they were dance classes that taught young people how to do the American rock and roll. And we went to these classes and we knew that this ballroom was going to have a session of the rock music so that we can actually show our skills. Um, and we did it in sneakers and very full skirts, whereas now they do it in high heels. Yeah. And the other half of the band um, when they changed over and the other half of the music, it was ballroom because all the other people there, um, the older people, all preferred ballroom dancing. So did you do ballroom dancing? I, I did ballroom as well, yes. So you could dance, obviously? Yes, yes. Oh. And obviously, I mean, two young girls, you know, on holiday together. Yeah. Were there young men and it was there? Oh, uh, quite a few, yes. Um, strangely, um, they came with their families. So that mum and dad would be there and the men would be looking, well the young boys were standing at the bar trying to look very grown up, puffing a cigarette and <laughs> actually looking quite ridiculous <laughs> and they were terrified to cross the floor to come and talk to you. So we sat in tables all around the outside and on the day that my parents came, my father actually was a dance teacher so he taught ballroom dancing and him and my mother came especially, it was a Saturday night, so they could get up and dance and they started dancing in our section, you know, where we were sitting and um, then my father got up and danced with me and uh, we went round and gradually um, other people relaxed and started talking and coming on the dance floor and people mingled and got together. But we were left with strict instructions. You know, don't say yes, remember no. 